Hello everyone and welcome to another Stormworks update video. I hope you're all well and staying safe. In this video, we're going to be covering the update as of today, which is 0.10.13. As always, we'll go over the new features and changes we've made and finally we'll test a few of them out here in the world of Stormworks. Now, if you're enjoying this videos, comment below and if anyone else you'd like to see any of our future videos, while you're there, don't forget that like and subscribe button and make a little bell icon to be notified about our upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So as said, let's get straight into it and get started with this update. So getting started with this update, the devs have gone and added two new components here in game. Those two components are going to be the new emergency beacon and their beacon finder. Now, these components are meant to add a new level of detail to the game. The game itself is meant to be a search and rescue game. Now, with the addition of these beacons, you can now add these beacons onto any of your creations, whether it be multiplayer or single player and you can use the beacon finder to go and find them uh, it adds a new level of development to the game and also as they mentioned in the actual notes is that this will add on to the ability of something that they're developing in a future update it's going to be a necessity to have this and it's going to create a lot more opportunities for us to do different things now these can be added to absolutely anything whether it be a train a car a boat a plane a helicopter whatever you want you can add it to it uh, obviously you still need to act Activate that transponder uh, you can obviously activate it by default if you wanted to uh, and then you can use the finder to find it it works pretty simple you can see here in our inventory we have it underneath the sensors you can see we actually have the actual transponder or the beacon itself uh, this will actually go and transmit a um, signal once it's been activated and then you have the beacon find or the locator what this does also is you have to activate it and once it's activated it will then react to it and give you a pulse back so it will increase the, the length of the pulse uh, the further you go away from it and it will shorten the pulse the closer you get to the creation or to the beacon itself so you can place a beacon wherever you want in the world uh, and then you can go and find it uh, but actually working with these is pretty simple all you have to do is just place the actual um, beacon itself on any creation you want uh, go and give it some electricity and make sure you turn it on pretty simple and now in the creation that you want to go and use to go and find the beacons you can just put it on there once again connect electricity to it and give it a on signal and then you'll see it will give you a pulse the quicker the pulse goes meaning the closer you are to the actual transponder or to the beacon that you're trying to find and the longer the pulse obviously that means the further you are away from it so it works pretty simple so just exiting the workbench you can see here i have got my little helicopter that we use for the multiplayer servers uh, along with that is i've gone and spawned a transponder just down here just to obviously demonstrate the how it can increase the pulse or decrease the pulse uh, the further or the closer away you get from it so we're just going to start the helicopter up you can hear this pulse is raging because it is so close to us uh, if we go and get a little bit closer to it you'll notice it's even going to increase just a little more and you can see the closer we get to it it's just going off constantly saying hey like we're right next to it now if we go and fly away from it you should notice that this little tr little beacon here is going to emit longer pulses okay so it's going to be much more of a break between every pulse it gets so you can see here it'll start flying away and it starts to get slower and slower and slower and slower and the further away you get from it it will get much slower now i don't know the actual total range of it just yet um hopefully you're going to find that out soon enough um but you can see it works really well uh it adds a cool feature to the game that i think is definitely necessary um especially with upcoming updates and so on and so forth i think it's going to add a new level of detail and at the end of the day this is a search and rescue uh game itself so having a beacon that you can go and locate your vessels or your helicopters your planes and so on and so forth with is a cool feature um it definitely is required and definitely needed um so definitely a cool update this week uh, and definitely looking forward to maybe possibly the next major update that dev said they are currently working on so that's it for this week's update if you want to see a full list of the changes and fixes make sure to go check out the announcement in the stormworks official discord server and Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.